Hello, Shadow Box out there. Today in this video, I'm going to be telling you guys all about what I got to on my Saturn Sunday of this week. I hope you guys have all had a lovely weekend and all having a lovely Sunday rest. On my Saturday, I got up after a nice line and I hadn't had much sleep. I was up at night, tossing and turning, and so I was a little bit cranky. Had a nice refresher shot, and that definitely helped calm it down, get me feeling zen. Had a Christmas playlist playing, had my advent chocolate, got changed. Head downstairs and I had some Nutella toast and a cup of warm milk for my breakfast. My older brother was on his Xbox, younger sister's at uni, older sister was at hers. Me and my mum were just watching a bit of Mad Show and a of music. My dad had been sorting stuff on the house and he'd gone off to bed. My younger brother had work. He didn't have work actually. He had a day off. He thought he was going to be working but he had a day off instead which is good for him. Getting to have a nice day off. I cannot wait to be back to work. I hope we're going to be back to work. January, early February at the latest. Fingers crossed, I used to miss work so much. Good thing is the R rate is going down where I am, which is good news. And he and his girlfriend went off to the Mall, and I was just, just a bit of music, doing a bit of drawing, cutting on the cutting out of my phone. Super therapeutic, and I watched The Fox and the Hound, such a lovely classic Disney film. And then I was just just a bit of Kylie Minogue, loving a new album and doing some new illustrations which I'm going to be showing you guys now and yeah love this pen this pen is so good for my illustrations and yeah I love this sketchbook this one is probably one of my favorites I love it I love the detailing in the on the nexus the dream catcher nexus hopefully you can see it the lace netting Flared sleeves, the cross earring, which makes this makes a common appearance in my sketchbook. The flicky hair to the side, the long hair, and the shoes. Just I uh, just love this sketchbook. Um, these are my newest sketches. Absolutely love them, and. Spent most of yesterday just doing lots of sketching, watching lots of Netflix. I watched The Grinch, which I know word for word. It's just such a great film. Jill Carey is just such a great actor, such a legend. And yeah, so I was just watching lots of Christmas films, listening to lots of Christmas music, doing lots of drawing and colouring pages, working on my book a bit. Knew that was going to happen, pen on the floor. Pick that up later on. And yeah, I. Then for my lunch, I had some tuna sandwiches and a cup of tea and was just sorting out my dolls and dollhouse and picked up my main piece of doll. Did a little bit of piece of doll photography and was just tidying up my office as it's a little bit of a mess. My younger brother and his girlfriend then got back from being at the mall and my old brother had gone off to the gym and then headed off to Tesco and got stuff for tea. Got back and got tea ready and we were going to be going off to my grandparents' house to help get their house decorated for Christmas as my grandparents can't really be putting all the stuff up nowadays, now they're getting a little bit older. So my grandma thought it'd be a good idea for us to go over and help out. So we were going to be doing that, but at the end, the end it was getting pretty late by the time my older brother got back from the gym. So we decided we we're going to be doing it tomorrow instead. So I was doing it Sunday instead. And then we watched The Hit List on BBC One, which is such a great show. Me and my dad need to go on there because it's like the intro game. So you have to like, name the song and the name of the singer and me and my dad are always getting it bam 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 always so good at it and it's just such a great show and yeah really feeling good in this jumper i hadn't worn this jumper in ages because i go through stages but i'll wear a certain bit of item like a clothing of item, an item of clothing and then i'll wear it lots and then i'll be like i'm not loving it and i won't wear it for ages and I found I put this on the other day because yesterday night we were, we had for heat for tea, which I'll get onto in a minute. But I was getting the table ready and stuff, and my dog got on my feet and tripped me up and caused me to get sauce on my jumper. I was on my an orange jumper, so I had to go upstairs and put this one on instead. So that was a bit annoying. And yeah, like I just said, we had fajitas and nachos for tea, which were mwah, delicious. My older brother does such a good job. And I'm going to be showing you guys a photo of that now. Oh my god, 
it was delicious. I don't know how to tidy away and then I was finishing up my journal, put that away, did a bit of drawing and listened to a bit of music and we finished off watching the hit list. I then went up back up to my room and finished doing some new designs, posted some onto my Instagram and I then was just playing with my own piece of doll and I watched Strictly. It was musical week and I absolutely love it. It was so good. Fabulous with a capital F. The professional dance at the start was just so amazing absolutely love strictly it's just such a great show and they're all so amazing i really want i always want to call her tiff because that's who she plays in these sense macy i really want macy to win talking about competitions and people winning spoiler alert for people that might not have watched it yet most of you probably have already on friday night it was the i'm a step final and jordan was second Vernon was third and then in first place was G, Giovanna, Queen G, love it. And she posted a photo of her seeing her kids for the first time on her Instagram and it just made my heart so warm. It's just so beautiful and yeah, so well deserved. She's just so lovely, bloody legend. And yeah, it was just such a great final and it was so good because we had no drama this year on the show and I really liked it at the castle and I also really loved how those no drama, they all got on really well, they were all really supportive and they're all worthy winners in my eyes. Love Jordan, love Fern, love G and yeah, it's just such a great final. And then I was just watching some episodes of Friends, did a few TikToks and drafted those and then I went off to bed and again, I was tossing and turning, didn't really sleep that well and I was just like, for God's sake, I just want to sleep and I finally got to bed. I got up about 11ish. It was then today, so Sunday morning, and my older brother was on his Xbox blasting out a bit of Christmas music. And I watched a bit of Gavin and Stacey, did a bit of drawing, then uploaded my first TikTok of the day, and I uploaded three throughout the day, so not all at once. And Currently, they've all got pretty good watches, but I'm trying not to obsess over following nights watches or anything like that. Not easy with my obsessive personality sort of, but slowly getting better than I am. And I then had a shower. I had to wait as my younger brother's girlfriend was getting ready as they were going off out to do a bit more shopping. And so I then made myself. I put on a little bit of weight, but it's December, getting near to like Christmas time, so you're about to put on a little bit of weight, but it's fine. I then had a shower, got changed, headed downstairs, and I had a bit of stir fry for my brunch and a cup of tea and some biscuits. And me and my older brother were watching a bit of the new little um the little the do little film with. What we've done genuine and it's pretty good and then my dad got up he got back to bed as he was had been sort of stuff on the house and he got up and then my mum got up shortly after as she'd been up for the night so she'd gone back to bed and then my old sister came over and she got us hot chocolates from our family friends hot chocolate place at coffee place he does amazing hot chocolates and they were just so good just a bit of music did a bit of drawing Got myself ready and then me and my older brother and sister then got ready and took our dog halves for a walk and dropped two hot chocolates one to our family friend's house then we went on more of our walk and i had such a lovely time had my hoodie on which was a good thing i did as it did drizzle a little bit which wasn't very nice a little bit refreshing which was good and it's still quite humid as well and I got some nice nature snaps that I'm going to be showing you guys now. Flash starts came out really well and I didn't think I was going to be able to get many because it's coming to winter now but I still managed to get some really nice snaps and then we made our way back home, got back and my younger brother and his girlfriend were back from being out shopping and we had a nice chill time. 
I had a packet of crisps and a cup of tea and a sandwich and was just listening to a bit of music and did a bit of drawing and colouring in and watched a bit of TV and then we got ready to go off to my grandma's house to help decorate for Christmas and my younger brother's girlfriend Connie let me have the other half of her Biscoff Krispy Kreme donut which was so good it was just lush and then we got to my grandpa's house my older sister went in her car and we got there and we got decorating and it is looking really Christmassy and my grandma gave me this adorable little Christmas tree to put in my dollhouse and it is so lovely she also has given me a small tree but a little bit bigger than this that's going to go by my door and on a little table and I'm going to be putting some decorations on that and in another vlog coming in the distant future I will be showing you guys my room and dollhouse decorated for Christmas. Christmas is my favourite season. I have plastic bags under my bed full of decorations because I theme it for all seasons like Halloween, Valentine's, Easter and my Christmas bag is literally plastic at the themes because I guess it's my favourite time of year. As they say it's the most wonderful time of the year and I cannot wait to put that in my dollhouse later on and yeah I'm going to be showing you guys some photos of the house decorated for Christmas. Enjoy. Oh, it's just getting me so festive. We had a bit of Christmas music playing and then my grandparents have got a new TV and you can FaceTime on the TV. So we were FaceTiming with my cousins and aunt from Ireland and it's voice activated. So we were like FaceTime our cousins and it was being a bit of a tricky thing. And it was like voice not recognized on all this kind of thing. So we finally sorted that out and it was so warm in my grandparents' house. My grandma gets quite cold easily, so it's always like a sauna and you turn the heating off and still we were literally boiling and then we got given a wreath that my grandparents didn't need as they found it and gave it to us to put on our door and we then said goodbye to my grandparents and my older sister went off back to hers and me and my older brother and sister, me and my older brother and younger brother and his girlfriend got back here and my older sister was going to come back to us but instead she went off home and I then was just listening to a bit of music and my mum and dad were just getting stuff ready for tea we're going to be having a Sunday roast can't wait and it smells so good and I had my advent chocolate canned uh, chocolate it's just so good I had it because I forgot to have it earlier on I thought I'd had it by hand and wrote a bit of my journal did a bit of drawing and a bit of colouring in and was just sorting out my office and dollhouse and I put my Christmas tree in my dollhouse and it's so adorable put it by the conservatory and I'm going to show you guys a photo of that now I absolutely love it it's so adorable I can't wait to put the other tree up by my door and when I do my vlogs that I normally film in front of my door with my doctor places around it I will be able to have the tree in the background which is going to be so adorable and just make me feel even more festive and I then was just doing a bit of drawing a bit of colouring in what on my new chapter to my book which is going really well and listened to a bit of music watched a bit of Gossip Girl and had a cup of tea and some biscuits and was reading a bit more of the Mad Pie Society written by Zoella and her friend Amy who do just such a wonderful job creating this amazing book it's just so good has me on the edge of my seat I also watched the new Zoella Vlogmas I mean it's not the lead up to Christmas without Zoella's Vlogmas it's just so iconic I love watching Vlogmas and then I have gained a few Twitter followers but I'm not going to get obsessed if I lose a few followers not the end of the world but I have managed to 
I'm out getting them. Probably all the festive content I've been putting up at the moment. And yeah, I need to not worry so much about that. And I posted some stuff onto my Instagram and I forgot the other day to show you guys some flashlights I got from Tesco's. Went out to get my lunch from there after meeting my mate on Friday, my colleagues. It was so lovely seeing them. And I got out to get my lunch from there after being around the charge shots and I got some flashlights from the little flower display they have up there and I was going to get some but in the end I decided not to but I'm going to show you some flowers the snaps that I got they're so lovely and I hope you guys enjoy the fast snap They're so lovely and I managed to get some pretty good quality footage considering how it was quite busy and I was just like snap 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 and then I am currently just playing with my memory jet doll I'm thinking about sorting them out tomorrow and I did a bit of drawing wrote a bit of my journal and I've just been working on some new illustrations watched a bit of Vic of Dibley and some other stuff on record that I need to finish watching and was just watching a bit of Dash and Lily and I'm currently talking to this guy on this Facebook dating app that I've sent a link to. Obviously they knew that I'm lonely and single and I've been talking to this guy, taking it slow, not thinking anything is going to come out of it, but so far it's going well. I've been messaging back and forth and yeah, just gonna see what happens. And then I was just watching a bit of Gavin and Stacey and I watched a bit of Dot Two and listen to a bit of Last Christmas, a bit of some Christmas music and a bit of Kylie and doing some drawing and working on some illustrations. And like I said, the pen that I've got, I got a pack of pens and this pen is just, I don't know what about it, it is about it, but it's making me be able to draw a lot better. And I just, I'm loving that pen. Drawing with that pen is just so good. And I was watching a bit of Love Actually, the bit where Emma Thompson's character opens the present thinking that it is the necklace but her husband bought it for the office secretary tart always makes me so angry and she opens it up so excitedly thinking it's the necklace and then it's the Joni Mitchell CD and she goes to, as she says it, go to upset myself for a minute and goes and sits on the bed and listens to it, her heart breaking my heart breaking and then the reveal at the end after the nativity when she says if you were for my position what would you do and so forth and it just breaks my heart so brilliantly acted it's probably one of the best christmas films ever hands down i love it and yeah i could watch that film a hundred times over and never get bored of it it's just so good and i talked about emma Thompson. i watched nana mcfee earlier on for the first time in ages and i just forgot how much i love that film i spent a solid month or so every day after school i'd get home and i'd put that film on and my older sister and younger sister were like for god's sake dan but it's just such a beautiful film i especially love the ending with the snow snow in august it's got such a great cast and it's so brilliantly written by emma thompson i bloody love emma thompson she's such a legend and yeah the tea smells so good i'm now off to go have my tea so i shall see you later on with the rest of the vlog and yeah i hope you guys are all have a lovely sunday evening Change of location quickly. As you can see, I've got the tree up. It's a very tiny tree, but I love it. And it's on a little table. And yeah, it's very cute. And I'm looking forward to putting a few of my personal little hanging decorations up. And it's got some pine cones. And yeah, it's very adorable. Now on with the rest of the vlog. I hope you guys enjoy seeing my little tree and yeah, I shall see you guys in a little bit. The Sunday roast was amazing. Sunday roast in my belly. Watched Zoella's Vlogmas from today. Christmas music on, just writing the rest of my journal to be done put away and getting ready to watch today's Strictly Results 
fingers crossed that Macy is in the bottom two. I have had such a jam-packed day, taking the dog for a walk with my older brother and sister, then going and decorating my grandparents' house for them, ready for Christmas, putting my own Christmas tree up. Can't wait to get the stuff out from the loft to be put on my tree. And yeah, I am um, just in such a good mood and me and my siblings are going to be putting our Christmas tree up next weekend. We're not going to be putting any of the, we're putting it, I think we're going to be putting all the Christmas ornaments in our cabinet and still having them in the window. So we've got a kitten who likes to attack everything and so we really don't want any of that to be broken so I came up with a good idea to put them all in the cabinet so I think we'll be doing that instead of having them on the window so and I'm now off to go and do a bit of drawing watch the strictly results and then I'm going to be watching the holiday I hope you guys have all had a lovely weekend or have a lovely week ahead and I shall see you soon with a new vlog coming very soon bye